do, Skibbity Boo, it's your boy Shiny Bee Gaming, and today so we're gonna be playing some Aphrodite as support. So, before we get started, um, if you enjoy this kind of content, be sure to leave this video a like. If you're looking for more content like this, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Let me know your thoughts on the video. To start, we're going to get the tier 2 version of Boots and then the tier 1 version of Rod of Tahuni. And those are going to be the first items we are buying. We're going to put a point into our 3, which is our heal. Um, our 1 allows us to create a link with uh, teammates. And then if we have a link, whenever we use our 3, which will heal us, if we're linked to a teammate, it'll also heal the teammate. The two is a stomp that knocks enemies back. If you are linked to, let's say, this Neath and you stomp, you'll stomp around both enemy or both gods. So the reason we are going the cooldown boots and then rod of the booty is because cooldown is going to give us the movement speed, a little bit of power, and then the cooldown that we need for the early game, and then rod of Tahuti has the passive where you do 25% more damage to enemy gods if they're below 50% health. And then this also applies to Aphrodite's heal in reverse. So if Neath is below 50% health, she's going to get an additional 25% healing. And basically because we are going to have a super strong heal, that's going to make up for the fact that we didn't buy protections for our team right away. So we got a good poke, we were able to really get this Medusa weak. Right now we are focusing on wave. I'm able to connect uh, with Neath to create a link. I'm trying to line up my birds to hit the Medusa, she's able to dodge it. Done. Hopefully we set up the knee. Does not look like we set her up quite enough. So right there, I flipped my birds just a little bit to see if I could tag this Medusa, which I was able to. I'm already out of mana, so let's see how this is handled. I'm trying to find a shot. That makes sense. That shot did not make sense, but that is okay. We're getting ganked, so we put a stun. We're gonna pop the shell for our teammates. Now we're gonna get in front and try to eat some body shots from Medusa. Sobek dashes right into Neath. Neath's able to get the first blood. If you are unaware, if you get the first blood, you get an additional 500 gold as a bounty for that. So this Neath is going to be that much closer to getting her Transcendence online. So we have high pressure. There's nothing for us to really go for. I think their camp just spawned. Or spawned. So we're going to move with Neath. I'm out of mana. So I'm actually just going to play it safe and back for the Shoes of Focus. Let Neath start our purple camp. So I got a ward and some potions. Because I have a heal, I do not want to get any health potions. I should be able to just play around my heal that is involved within my kit. So I put a, my third ability into my three, making it to where I have two points into my three. I will put a point into my two as when I hit level four. Just right now, I want my three to do as much damage and heal as much as possible. So right here, I'm holding wave. I could clear wave and get the XP, but I'm better off holding it uh, until Neath gets back. And if you guys don't know what holding wave is, um, leave a comment down below and I might make a video clarifying that, sure. the benefits of it. Right now we have advantage, we're gonna see if we can get anything. Looking to set up the stun. We get pulled back, we're gonna do a little stomp. We're good, we we're able to get our poke off, we're gonna be able to heal up any damage that we did take. Okay. 
Nice. Needs is able to get the kill. We are able to get the assist. So right now, it looks like Neath is starting to gain the lead in the lane, but I don't want to rotate mid lane quite yet. Okay, so she just got a double kill. Nice job. Now, we definitely want to think about rotating mid. Let's see if their purple is up. Still back went in super aggressive, a little bit of a misplay by him. We're gonna be able to just poke him out. He didn't even go for the minions. We have Rat over here. So we're gonna see if we can get them out of tower just a little bit. And that Sobek stash is down, so we're gonna see if we can apply some pressure. Get the stun, throw the heal, do the stun. So there I realized that Hell and Ratatasker both rotated over and I stomped them under tower. So right now I make the call that we should go for our purple. Neath is going to go pick up their purple which means I get to hit this camp all to myself. As a support, even though we're playing not a guardian as support, we can still fulfill the functions of a support. So we want Neath to be a higher level than us. If she gets the full wave and we don't get any XP from it, that's okay. Right now, we are hurting for mana just a little bit, so we're gonna go ahead and back to get some more mana potions. Go ahead and pick up the tier two of Rod of Tahuti. And now we're going to make an appearance mid, just because it looks like there's a bit of a team fight going on. I see Sobex in mid, which means he's no longer in left, which means Neath no longer needs my assistance. Probably could have rotated a little bit earlier, but that is okay. I think Neath has all three kills this game so far. So, it looks like Hell's gonna have to back. We're just going to hold middle until she is with us. So, Neath rotated mid. Um, I think she should be in her lane farming up. Although, if we do get the tier 1 tower, that would be a win. Nice, he was able to get a Medusa kill. So Mercury hits kind of hard, that's important to note. We're going to tag up this wave. Nobody's in left lane cleaning up the minions. And uh, I think Neath should definitely be in that lane instead of trying to pressure mid with us. Nice, I was able to get a kill with the tick damage from my three. We're gonna make our way to the Harpies. We can kill this Mercury if we can get some CC going. But he dashes out. That's a Medusa ult. Let's see if we can turn and burn her real quick. Nice, and we were able to get the kill. Ratatasker comes in on the Mercury, and we get the kill there. So, I'm really surprised that they did not surrender this game right at 10 minutes. As we are kind of dominating. Attack the gold fury. So I make the call to attack the gold fury. Uh, we killed their Medusa. We killed attack their jungler. The their supports weak in mid. We haven't at? even seen their solo yet. It just seems like a good time to go for gold fury. For sure. So as support, I'm just going to tank it up and heal myself during the damage I take. You have to pass it around a little bit. Chill out. I'm gonna go ahead and hit these oracles. A 
we're gonna back Ow, up, but it looks like our teammates need us. So even though we're pretty low on mana, we're gonna see if there's anything we can do. So right there, going back in for the stomp was my misplay. I should have tagged Ratatasker with the kiss, created the link, tagged my three down between those two rocks, and then peeled off. But instead, I closed in to try to use my stomp, and that got me too close to the enemy front line, and Kronos was able to stun me, and then follow up damage pursued, and they were able to get. So now I have Rod of the Booty online. This is going to allow me to smack. It's going to make me do really strong damage early game. And I'm also going to be able to heal my teammates a little bit more effectively. We are still squishy and we still don't have the biggest mana pool. But we hit kind of hard. So this game, luckily we were partnered with a pretty good knee. And right here, while I'm in left lane, we're going to put pressure onto this Medusa, but I should not have be here. All I'm doing by rotating over to this lane is taking farm away from Neath. There's nobody over here. There's camps in mid that I could be helping Hell get right now as support. Instead, I am pushing the tier 2 tower with Neath. Definitely not the most efficient thing to do. Yeah, so we dove into tower trying to get a fancy stun, and then two people on their team rotate over. So definitely overstayed my welcome in that lane. Probably should have just gone mid right from responding. That Neath seems to have that lane under control. Don't need to hang out in that lane anymore unless there's a team fight going on. I need to show most of my attention to mid lane and then occasionally rotate to solo and duo. This time we're just going to beeline it straight for mid lane. Carry me, team. Thanks. Oops. No problem. So our team is left heavy, meaning that a lot of them were on the left side. There's no gold fury, so it's just camps that they can steal. That's a Pretty big wave I just stole from Hal. So um, she was game? in the lead. Sorry. What are you even doing? She says that's too bad. I say I'm sorry after realizing what I did. So I'm waiting for her here. Text me. And then we're gonna tag up this camp, let her get her red. So that was a very good ult by Kronos. He would have died if he didn't ult right there. But we were able to bait out an enemy ultimate. We're going to continue to go for camps. So right here, that awkward moment when we've cleared their wave, they've cleared our wave, and we're just staring at each other. And they're usually under tower. You want to make an effort to go and try to get some of the camps that are around mid lane. So this Kronos has got a little bit of dudes. Mercury jumps on us, we're just gonna stomp him off, throw the heal, and he has to disengage. Hell gets thrown. We're going to make a link, use our ult to get her out of there. Probably ulted a little early there, but that is okay. We're just gonna keep letting Neath do her thing. We're gonna stay connected to Hell, because she's pretty squishy. We might connect right after we are able to get the kill on the Sobek. Somehow I got the kill on the Medusa. I guess she stepped into my three. So right now we're going to keep pushing. See if we can get this tier two tower in mid. I feel like our team has been on the offense this entire game. Like they really haven't had a good push on any of our towers. 
with that great of a team fight, they did gain once or twice, but they're not going for objectives and we're stealing a lot of their camps. So this game is going heavily in our favor. We are up 8 kills, up almost 9,000 gold, um, 15 minutes into it. Gold Fury's up. Go ahead and take this with the team. So this is a Primal Fury, which means it's going to buff one of our waves, one for each lane. So Cronus is still around somewhere. That's done. Use my ult a little late. I'm gonna see if I can't connect to someone. I gotta deal with the Sobek ult. That did very little damage. Radatask was able to come in for a little bit of follow up. I get the connection with Radatask. I get ulted. I get blown up on top of shell. Able to get a heal off and do some damage to the enemy team. Radatask was able to clean up the kill. That's a 2 for 0 so far. Sobek makes a desperate attempt to come after the weak Aphrodite. He blinks out. That's a relic down. So for our third item, we are going to be going Breastplate of Valor. We are very interested in the reduction of cooldowns. There is a cap of 40% for the maximum amount of cooldown that you can build. I don't know if we're going to hit it this game, but we're definitely going to be sitting on at least 30% cooldown. Going to tag up this Rattataster with some heals. Between Hell and myself, he was at over 80% health. So I'm going to go ahead and back, spend the gold that I have. Can you just AFK under the tower? I good health these days. So it looked like I was kind of hovering that ethereal staff as my fourth item. I don't remember if that's what I actually buy. But we are going to make our way to mid. We're winning this game pretty one-sidedly. Clean up these side harpies. The Hell and Aphrodite, com Aphrodite combo is very strong. I don't know if anyone on their team has even built anti-heal yet. Which could be the biggest factor in why we are winning this game. Use my stomp, use my ult, stomp didn't do enough. We're able to get hell out. Nice, we were able to get the kill onto Sobek, we tagged him with a 3 and then stomped him. So right now we have people pushing left, people pushing mid, and it looks like Solo's been a bit of a stalemate. We did get their tier 1 tower. I haven't seen a Camazots rotate. I haven't seen Ardia rotate. I feel like they're just popping and winning. So we're going to make a rotation and do some damage. This is going to relieve enough pressure off Kamazot so we're able to get his tower. We're going to heal up, get Kamazot's full health, rotate mid with him. He's able to get a pick onto the Medusa. They really wanted to fight, so they dove in. We're gonna see if there's anything we can do. Nice. We were able to get the laughing RDO. So right now, as support, I should be able to tank this. I get thrown into Phoenix. Shouldn't be a problem. This Sobek ult might be. 
Although Neve has done his damage to where she's able to clean him up even though while he is in his ultimate. So right now we're keeping high pressure on mid Phoenix. Unfortunately, this Medusa was able to get the hell. Why am I so good at the game? No got a stun. Got the three. Got a stun. That takes them below half health. So everyone besides Sobek and Ardio, we can take below half health with just our three and two combo. That plus the heals makes Aphrodite up, and there is a surrender. If you guys enjoyed this video, if you made it to the end, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. If you want to see more content like that, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good day. Bye-bye.